You now have passed up Kareem Abdul-Jabbar. I know what my attitude would have been. Does this now make you the greatest player of all time? Are you now the <laughs> GOAT? LeBron James is still the best player in no the world. Now I feel confident because I'm the best player in the world. It's simple. In the world of basketball, there's an ongoing debate that transcends generations, statistics, and championships. It's a debate that ignites arguments, sparks controversy, and divides fans worldwide. Today, we delve into the heart of this debate, confronting the question that has echoed throughout the last two decades of basketball history. Is LeBron James truly the greatest of all time? Hello basketball fans and welcome back to Hoop Vision. With a career spanning over 20 years, LeBron James has cemented his name into the fabric of the basketball universe. From his inhumane dunks, touchdown passes, and superhero-like chase down blocks, LeBron has redefined the boundaries of what is possible on the hardwood. But with greatness comes scrutiny. For every accolade and triumph he achieves, there are skeptics ready to challenge his claim to the throne. From Michael Jordan worshippers to Kobe Bryant fans, the debate rages on, fueled by opinions and subjective loyalty. Join us on a journey through the highs and lows of LeBron's career, exploring the milestones, controversies, and defining moments that have shaped his legacy. Maybe together, we can find an answer to this very old question. Is there a case for LeBron winning the GOAT debate? When talking about LeBron's career in a negative light, one of the biggest red flags that comes to mind is flopping. Despite undeniably being one of the greatest basketball players of all time, he has a legacy of acting like a drama queen when trying to get foul calls. In his defense, there were plenty of times when he didn't get them due to just being overall too strong for the refs to notice the hit. However, some of his flops are plain embarrassing. Davis for three. Rebound Grayson Allen. Loose Guarding Butler too. The worst thing is that the flopping takes away from the positive aspects of his game dunks, no-look assists, and, at one point, relentless defense. LeBron's persona was built around his pursuit of greatness, and the public is not accepting his greatness to be the best one due to video clips of him rolling on the floor like a child thrown a tantrum. The comparison with Michael Jordan in terms of stats is something that gives us enough ground for a legit discussion. But when it comes to flops, there's no room for including MJ in any talks whatsoever. Quite the opposite, Jordan would probably think something like, you think I can't defend this guy, so I need to flop against him? All right, in case you're a basketball fan, you know what flopping is. But if you've stumbled onto this video and still don't know what we're talking about, flopping, in basketball terms, refers to the act of exaggerating contact or feigning injury in order to draw a foul or favorable call from the referees. It's a tactic employed by players across the league, but LeBron's knack for it has often been a focal point of debate among fans, analysts, and fellow players. Many sports analysts argue that LeBron's tendency to flop undermines his status as one of the game's GOAT athletes. They point to instances where he appears to act out the contact or dramatically react to minimal physicality suggesting that such behavior tarnishes the integrity of the sport. To them, LeBron's flopping is seen as just a dirty tactic, a calculated attempt to gain an unfair advantage on the court. The scrutiny surrounding LeBron's flopping reaches its peak every time the playoffs begin. Whether it's a crucial playoff matchup or a tightly contested championship series, the sight of LeBron theatrically flailing after incidental contact leaves many fans angry and frustrated. Even some NBA players have said that his reputation as a flopper detracts from his otherwise sterling legacy casting a big shadow over his numerous accolades. However, defenders of LeBron say that flopping is simply a part of the modern game, a strategic move utilized by players to gain an edge in an increasingly physical and competitive league. They point to the prevalence of flopping across the league and argue that singling out LeBron is unfair and unjust. In their eyes, LeBron's flopping is no different from that of his peers, and to vilify him for it is to ignore the broader context of professional basketball. They highlight his unparalleled skill, athleticism, and basketball IQ as reasons why his flopping should be viewed as a minor flaw on an otherwise great career. They argue that his impact on the game overpowers any criticism of his on-court theatrics, citing his leadership, philanthropy, and influence on future generations of players as evidence of his true greatness. But despite how many positives we point about LeBron, there's another big negative aspect of his game that has drawn significant attention, his habit for incessantly pleading with referees and overreacting to calls. Unlike the stoic reactions of other GOAT candidates like Kobe and Jordan, LeBron's on-court behavior often involves angry gestures, 
protests and what many might even label as theatrical displays. In contrast to LeBron's demonstrative approach, Kobe and Jordan were known for their composed and cold demeanor on the court. Whether faced with a questionable call or a perceived injustice, both Bryant and Jordan were known for their ability to maintain their composure and focus on the game at hand. Rather than engaging in confrontations with officials, they channeled their energy into elevating their performance and leading their teams to score. LeBron's tendency to cry foul at the slightest provocation has led to accusations of entitlement and a lack of sportsmanship. Critics argue that his constant appeals to the referees not only disrupt the flow of the game, but also set a poor example for younger players watching him closely. They point out that LeBron's behavior undermines the authority of the officials and fosters a culture of entitlement where players feel justified in questioning every call that goes against them. In other words, he's turning the kids soft. While some may argue that his theatrics are simply a reflection of his passion and competitiveness, others view them as a calculated attempt to influence officiating decisions in his favor. And duh, they're obviously right. By exaggerating contact or embellishing the severity of fouls, LeBron runs the risk of eroding the credibility of the sport and detracting from the purity of competition, and on top of everything, getting the crybaby reputation. In contrast, Bryant and Jordan's refusal to engage in such behaviors served as a testament to their winning mentality. Rather than seeking to manipulate the outcome of games through appeals to the referees, they let their performance speak for itself, trusting in their ability to overcome adversity and emerge victorious. While LeBron's habit of crying to the refs and overreacting to calls may be a point of contention among fans and analysts, there's no denying his impact on the game of basketball. Whether viewed as a flaw in his character or a byproduct of his intense competitiveness, LeBron's behavior serves as a reminder that even the greatest athletes are not immune to criticism. In the end, it's up to each individual to decide how they perceive LeBron's on-court antics and what they ultimately value in a basketball icon. Moving on from this behavior, we go to some career stats that are mentioned quite often when GOAT talks start buzzing around. One of the critiques towards LeBron's career is his finals record, and here's why. Unlike the near-perfect championship records of Kobe and Jordan, LeBron's finals record has been mocked to the point where people forget the man carried his team to the finals for eight straight years. From 2011 to 2018, there were no NBA Finals without LeBron James, which is a crazy accomplishment by itself. When comparing LeBron's Finals record to that of Bryant and Jordan, the disparity is clear. While Jordan boasts a flawless 6-0 record in NBA Finals appearances, with two three-peats, and Bryant secured five championships in seven Finals appearances, LeBron's record stands at a more modest four championships in ten Finals appearances as of the time of this writing. While simply making it to the Finals on such a consistent basis is impressive, critics argue that LeBron's inability to secure victory more often diminishes his standing on the GOAT debate. Furthermore, LeBron's finals losses have been particularly scrutinized, with some analysts such as Skip Bayless pointing to his performance in key moments as evidence of his shortcomings. Whether it's his subpar shooting percentages, turnovers, or apparent struggles under pressure, LeBron's performance against the Mavericks did leave fans and analysts questioning his ability to deliver when it matters most. In contrast, Jordan and Bryant are celebrated for their clutch performances and ability to rise to the occasion in the biggest moments of their careers. But saying LeBron isn't clutch would be unfair. Yes, he's had some bad decisions here and there, but the man had so many game-deciding moments that it would be a shame to take that away from him. LeBron's finals record has also been discussed by the manner in which some of his losses occurred. From being swept by the San Antonio Spurs in 2007 to his highly publicized defeats at the hands of the Dallas Mavericks in 2011 and the Golden State Warriors in 2015, LeBron's failures on the game's grandest stage have left a lasting impact on his legacy. While he has undoubtedly redeemed himself with subsequent championship victories, including leading the Cleveland Cavaliers to an improbable comeback against the Warriors in 2016, his finals losses continue to be a point of contention among those who debate his place among the all-time greats. At the end of the day, LeBron's finals record, while impressive in its own right, falls short of the standards set by legends like Jordan and Bryant. While he may continue to add to his championship tally in the twilight of his career, his record in the NBA Finals will always be a factor in discussions about his place in basketball history. Whether it ultimately defines his legacy as the GOAT remains to be seen, but for now, it remains a point of contention in the ongoing debate. Last but not least, the fact LeBron left the Cavs in 2010 makes his position in the GOAT debate much more difficult. When examining LeBron's team-switching tendencies in comparison to Bryant and Jordan's loyalty, the debate isn't really there for having. Bryant spent his entire 20-year career with the Los Angeles Lakers, becoming the face of the franchise and embodying what it meant to be a Laker. Similarly, Jordan's time with the
the Chicago Bulls was defined by his strong commitment to the team, leading them to six NBA championships and cementing his status as a basketball icon. In contrast, LeBron has opted for a more nomadic approach to his career, departing from his hometown Cleveland twice and also leaving the Miami Heat for stints with other teams. While each decision was made with the intention of pursuing championships and maximizing his chances of success, LeBron's frequent team switches have raised concerns about his loyalty and commitment to building a lasting legacy with a single franchise. Critics argue that LeBron's team switching tendencies diminish his accomplishments and negate his reputation as a true franchise player. His willingness to jump from team to team in pursuit of immediate success undermines the notion of loyalty and team building, and instead portrays him as a mercenary chasing individual accolades at the expense of team unity. Moreover, LeBron's team switching has also been scrutinized for its impact on the competitive balance of the league. By teaming up with other superstars in their prime, such as Dwayne Wade and Chris Bosh in Miami or Anthony Davis in Los Angeles, LeBron has been accused of creating super teams. While his ability to assemble all-star packed rosters has undoubtedly led to success on the court, it has also sparked debates about the ethics of player empowerment and the role of super teams in the NBA. In conclusion, LeBron's team switching tendencies, while yielding undeniable success, have raised questions about his place in the GOAT discussions. While he may boast an impressive resume of championships and individual accolades, his willingness to prioritize short-term success over long-term loyalty has left some questioning whether he truly belongs in the same conversation as legends like Bryant and Jordan. That's it for today, dear friends. We hope you've enjoyed this video. Let us know in the comments below who do you think is the NBA's GOAT and why. Thank you for watching and growing this channel. Make sure you don't miss out on more NBA stories by hitting that subscribe button. See you in the next one.